Uh, welcome to this video and in this video I want to show you the selfie com of the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II because after the update to Android 11 some people were interested how does the selfie cam yeah, perform in terms of vlogging and yeah this is now a vlogging test using the selfie cam of Xperia 5 Mark II and you can tell me what you think about the selfie cam of Xperia 5 Mark II especially in this situation where the sun is shining on my face the exposure we can just turn around here and we can do like a little bit of high dynamic range shooting the sun is somewhere there um, at the University of Auckland the library here right now general library and uh, I think now I can can you see the sun behind me there is the sun how is the dynamic range of uh, the uh, vlogging uh, selfie cam uh, I can also show you some uh, photos that I shot with this uh, selfie cam of Xperia 5 Mark II and just for yeah for a little bit of fun I added in the LG G7 ThingQ which uh, is a three years old flagship device and I want to take a look how the selfie cam on this device can compete still with the uh, Xperia 5 Mark II or if the Xperia 5 Mark II beats it hands down let's take a look and what asking the guy right next to me yeah this is a good question so how is the selfie cam of the LG G7 you can see I think it's a lot cooler and I look a little bit ill <laughs> I think so it's not as warm as the Sony one and uh, yeah how is dynamic range how is the stabilization how is even the sound on the LG G7 and uh, yeah how does the LG G7 perform with the sun in the background I think it's also pretty fine I can see a really really white and cool right now so I'm not sure what the LG does here and uh, yeah this is the little stabilization test I can also show you side by side another test that I did earlier uh, with the LG G7 and the um, Xperia 5 Mark II and where I was uh, running against the sun and to the sun and you can see some pretty nice effects there as well so let's take a look at this test of the LG G7 and the front-facing camera and now you can see the exposure changing again high dynamic range failing and some guys also in the background so uh, now my face should be black uh, directly into the sun shine so I turn around a bit you can see myself again uh, I can see myself again on the screen well in general nah, I don't I'm not sure and uh, this is another high dynamic range test with the sun directly behind me how does this compare to the LG G7 uh, and uh, the dynamic range or high dynamic range there is the Sony better maybe slightly depends on how the sun is shining onto the sensor I have the feeling and I'm now going backwards also a nice test for the stabilization uh, let me go forward see how the expo how it handles the exposure and uh, now let's turn around and see how it looks like with uh, me facing the sun I think my face should be black right now and yeah I think high dynamic range is probably not uh, that good but how does it compare to the LG G7 so how is the stabilization of the front facing camera of the Xperia 5 Mark II and I'm walking around here through the Albert Park in New Zealand Auckland and uh, now not directly into the uh, sun the sun is shining on my face but you can see exposure and face detection on the camera is working fine the front-facing camera has no autofocus so you cannot like put something in front of it and it focuses on it it doesn't work like this but you have of course the option uh, to have at least the exposure on your face so it has like the face detection which uh, tries to expose your face correctly so there's no overblown highlights on your face or down shining highlights on your face so you see in this harsh sunlight it's very hard to do this I think the high dynamic range and video mode is not there so you have a little bit of playing um, with the dynamic range in terms of highlights uh, keeping a little bit 
retaining a little bit of those highlights but in general it is not very good the back uh, cameras are way better in terms of high dynamic range so do we have an advantage uh, with the camera sensor of the LG G7 the front-facing camera sensor does it produce the better colors I think I look a little bit white <laughs> for some odd reason uh, I'm not sure if this is intended uh, anyway if I just move around here and you can see the Sun behind me you can still see my face so it's not overblown there nothing creepy going on with the camera itself and uh, yeah, I can run around here stabilization I think is a bit better than on a Sony but uh, yeah audio also might be better Sony has a wind filter the LG does not and it's pretty windy right now so probably the wind filter will not work so good uh, when it comes to running around here I think for vlogging the LG G7 uh, if you want to see yourself makes a bit more sense but you can tell me in the comment section what you think about the quality of uh, this recording so this is the LG G7 recording and uh, running around with a selfie stick and uh, this is how it will look like when I hold the Xperia 5 Mark II in my hand instead of the selfie stick and walk with this and how does the stabilization work then I hope it is not worse than with a selfie stick otherwise if it is then I can only recommend you to yeah, have a selfie stick all the time with you if you want to vlog or want to uh, do some vlogging or selfies uh, selfie videos especially and uh, when it comes to selfie photos I think I showed you some of the photos uh, they are fine uh, I saw better ones already so pretty much uh, you can tell that uh, the Xperia 5 and Xperia 1 doesn't matter if Mark 1 or Mark 2 they have uh, still one of the worst selfie cams uh, on a flagship um, smartphone and uh, this is now a video of the LG G7 so selfie cam hold in my hand and uh, yeah, sun is shining now directly onto me house stabilization here pretty much the same issues uh, uneven ground and uh, some bumps on the road uh, how does the selfie cam look like here how does the uh, skin color look because I have the feeling that the Sony has a better colors on the front facing camera I look a little bit white on this one a little bit ill on the LG camera front facing camera and I think the Sony has uh, a better skin color at least than the LG G7 but you can write down in the comment section what do you think which one has the better color profile in terms of front facing cameras uh, on the videos at least so now with the Sony running uh, right next to a street we know already the noise cancellation is pretty good the wind filter is pretty good on the Sony and the audio quality with the microphone is pretty good I'm talking directly to the Sony and uh, yeah this is uh, the streets there and you hear maybe a bus there and some other cars uh, driving here New Zealand so it means they're driving on the left side of the road and uh, yeah this is the sound quality test with this Sony uh, now this is the sound quality test with the LG G7 right next to the street you can see a lot of cars driving passing by and uh, they also have a wind filter that you cannot turn off or some kind of filter noise filter in the LG G7 that you cannot turn off and uh, how is this performing against the Sony and uh, their noise filter I think the LG has a slight advantage maybe but we will see how does it perform you can write down in the comment section which one has the better audio uh, so now the test to make it fair now with cars passing by and driving and not just standing there how is the sound quality with the Sony I think the Sony is still a little bit better when it comes to noise isolation and picking up my voice next to the street even without plugging in any external microphone what I like to vlog with the Sony without an external microphone to be honest it is possible but only in extreme situations so I really want to have like an external microphone that I can plug in to have better sound quality and the LG offers me this with the yeah, default camera application so I don't need to download anything third party and the Sony only offers this in a Cinema Pro app and so that sadly doesn't have the auto exposure uh, for video mode and a worse stabilization and it does not allow me to use the front-facing camera at all 
so I have to use for vlogging if I want to see myself I have to use the uh, Sony's front facing camera the Sony's um, main camera application and yeah this is a slight disadvantage I would say for Sony when it comes to this so what is the conclusion I think the Sony has yeah, a better selfie cam than the LG interestingly enough even though the LG has, has I think the better stabilization the Sony can keep up with in terms of electronic image stabilization uh, Sony has more problems with uh, lens flares I would say because if the Sun is shining on it you can see like almost the whole glass of the Sony device is like illuminating and it creates like this foggy uh, kind of style but in terms of audio Sony has a slight edge in terms of uh, pictures high dynamic range pictures especially Sony beats the LG uh, especially if you do photo shootings against the Sun of course it cannot provide like uh, uh, cannot like create uh, magic out of a photo but it creates good photos even though the LG has better details because of the higher megapixel count and uh, yeah in general I think the Sony can be the three-year-old flagship in terms of uh, uh, camera quality what do you think write down in the comments yeah with the Xperia 5 Mark II I'm pretty happy with the front-facing video uh, when it comes to front-facing photo naya it is not very good it is it can produce some good photo results as well but if you as soon as you zoom in you can see it's not very high quality and it's losing of course against all the other flagships and their front-facing cameras especially those who offer even um, yeah a front-facing camera with uh, auto focusing uh, mechanism and of course they have usually higher denser pixel density and even higher uh, sensor pixel size so they produce better photos also in low light and uh, less um, noise and uh, have better high dynamic range better software stabilization uh, electronic image stabilization is the only thing that you have here on the front facing camera and it's not bad on the Sony and per se but if you compare it with the other flagships you can see that Sony can do better and if you only think you're only thinking about ah, I want to take selfies I need a good front-facing camera then you might be better off with uh, some of the other uh, flagships otherwise you can always flip around the Sony and then use one of the good back uh, sensors uh, or cameras basically that do a very fine and very good job in terms of uh, yeah, exposure in terms of or even of high dynamic range sometimes um, <clears throat> some better some worse the main sensor is very good the, the ultra wide is pretty solid and stable um, so yeah my conclusion uh, front facing camera meh still with Android 11 maybe slightly improvement in terms of uh, stabilization um, but you can write it in the comment section what you think about the stabilization when I'm running around here through the Albert Park but um, that is everything for this video I hope you enjoyed this video you can write down in the comment section what you think and even with the comparison the short comparison to the LG G7 which one has the better front-facing video quality that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye